Go for the two.com. I'm continuing my bowl podcast. It's the second game on Saturday, December 15th at 4.30. It's the famous Idaho Potato Bowl in Boise. It's a great matchup between the Toledo Rockets, who are 9-3 and three overall. They're facing 22nd-ranked Utah State, who's 10-2 and two overall. It's the MAC versus the WAC. Toledo 6-2 in the MAC Conference. Utah State undefeated at 6-0. So two very good teams. Two very good teams with two very good quarterbacks. Terrence Owens for Toledo. Chucky Keaton for Utah State. Both of these teams also have two very good running backs. David Flewellen for Toledo and Kerwin Williams for the Utah State Aggies. So we'll get into both teams in a little bit. I'll give you my prediction for this game. Let's talk about both of these teams a little bit more in depth. Let's talk about Toledo. They're 9-3 and three overall with a quality win at the time over 21st ranked Cincinnati. They got the victory at home. When you look at Toledo's three losses, they're to all bowl teams. They lost on the road to Arizona, they lost to Ball State, and they lost to Northern Illinois. All three of those teams are bowl uh, bowl eligible teams. They are in bowl. So uh, Toledo with a quality win and three of their losses coming to bowl uh, teams that are playing in postseason play. When you look at Utah State, they're 10-2 overall. Both of those losses came on the road by a total of five points to Wisconsin. They dropped a 16-14 to affair on the road. They kicked a late field goal and missed it. Otherwise, they would have gotten the victory in Madison early in the season. They went on the road to Provo and lost a very tight affair to the BYU Cougars 6-3. to Those are the only two losses for Utah State on the season. When you look at their quality wins, they knocked off San Jose State and Louisiana Tech. Both of those teams are bowl eligible and are playing in postseason play. Well, uh, Louisiana Tech was bowl eligible but declined an invite. But Two quality opponents that they did knock off. So, very good team in Utah State. Let's talk about Terrence Owens right now in the Toledo Rocket offense. Terrence Owens completing 62.8% of his passes, 14 touchdowns, 8 INTs in the, in the year. But he's very good a pocket passer. He's more of a, a passer than he is a runner, but he is very mobile. When you look at the opposite side of Utah State, they're led by sophomore Chucky Keaton, completing 67.8% of his passes, 27 touchdowns, 9 INTs, but he's very good running the football. He's added 7 rushing touchdowns on the season. It's going to put a lot of pressure on the Toledo defense to contain Chucky Keaton, not only in the pocket, but should he break contain, they have to keep limited yards to Chucky Keaton outside the pocket. Otherwise, he's a dual threat. He'll beat him with his arm and his legs. When you look at the running back situation for both teams, two studs on both sides of the ball. Toledo, in my estimation, has a, uh, an NFL caliber running back in David Flewellen. He's added 1,460 yards on the season. He's averaging 5.8 yards per carry. He's also com uh, caught 32 passes on the season. Very good out of the backfield. Flewellen, though, did get injured late in the season against Northern Illinois. He hurt his ankle. He didn't play in the last season game in the victory against Akron. So he's had a couple of weeks to prepare for this game. Toledo will need a healthy David Flewellen if they are ready to pull off the upset in Idaho. When you look at Utah State, they have a very good running back. He's a sophomore, Kerwin Williams. He's added 1,277 yards uh, rushing. He's also caught 43 passes on the season, so dual threat as well. They like to get the ball out to Williams in the flat and use him on swing passes, which opens up the running game against weak defenses. So we'll see how that happens against a very finesse type of defense in Toledo. It's a contrast in styles. Both of these teams very good offensively. Toledo a little more of a finesse, bend but don't break type of defense. Utah State a very solid defense. Defense, especially against the run. Uh, Utah State only surrendering 116 yards rushing on the road. They're giving up 274 yards passing on the road. So that's a matchup for Toledo and Terrence Owens. Can Toledo get the ball deep on the Utah State secondary? When you look at Toledo right now, I think they do have an edge, and it's because of the wide receivers. They have two very good wide receivers. Bernard Reedy, who's caught over 1,000 yards receiving for the year, and, and Alonzo Russell, who added over 900 yards 
receiving on the season, two guys that can actually stretch the defense and open up things for David Fluell and, and the rushing game. So that's going to be the key for Toledo in this matchup. Can they get the ball to Reedy and Russell and then open up and loosen up that Utah State defense so that they can run the ball with David Fluellen. I don't think that Toledo can just line up and run the ball at will against Utah State. They're going to have to mix it up and get the passing game going in order to loosen up that defense. When you look at both of these teams, though, I think the difference is a, cu a couple of things, actually. Defensively for Toledo, very opportunistic. They're a plus seven in turnover margin, so they're going to need to create turnovers. They give up a lot of yards. They bend, but they don't break, and they do create turnovers, especially on the road. They're plus seven, which has allowed them to win nine games, uh, half of those coming on the road. So they're going to need to create turnovers in this bowl game. When you look at Utah State, they're only a, a, they're even even with a zero in turnover margin on the year on the road. On the season, though, they're a minus one. Not positive in terms of turnovers. In bowl games, it's all about rushing the football and turnovers. And if you cannot create turnovers, especially in bowl games, you're not going to have a chance to win. So I think that this edge goes to the Toledo Rockets. Also, the wide receivers of Reedy and Russell, when you look at Utah State's schedule, they haven't faced two wide receivers that can run like this on their schedule. They're going to be su surprised about the speed of Bernard Reedy and how they like to utilize him on reverses, Toledo does, and get the ball to Russell deep. So I think that's going to be a shock to the Utah State defense in terms of their speed out on the edge. I like Toledo in this ball game. I think they pick up a close victory. I think it's a very entertaining game. I like Toledo to get the, the upset in Boise, though. I'm calling for a 41-37 to 37 victory for the Toledo Rockets. Stay with me all week. I'll have more bowl podcasts. It's just kicking off. It's a great bowl season already. I can't wait. So stay with us at GoForTheTwo.com.